All right, a few definitions to go through here. We'll recap some of these words and terms, and we'll apply them to more of a complex diagram. So first things first, let's take a look at uh, this acute angle, right? There are obviously lots of acute angles. Uh, all I'm going to do here is identify maybe one or two. Uh, acute angle, in this case, it's pretty simple to see that angle CHD right in here, I'll, I'll mark that in green. Angle CHD is of course acute. So over here in black, I'll put, well, I'll put it in blue. Angle CHD. And we can also name several more. Angle BHC would be acute. You have lots of options. Angle AHB would be acute. Angle AHG would be acute. And you get the point. Remember, acute angles are angles that have a measure between 0 and 90. Next up, obtuse. Again, lots of different options. I will illuminate one of them here. Angle AHD. So it would be the entire angle right here. And that, of course, is obtuse. Obtuse angles are angles whose measure comes between 90 and 180. A lot of other options here. We can look at angle GHE. We can look at angle CHF. We can look at angle, let's see, BHE, and so on and so forth. So you have lots of options. A straight angle. Well, straight angles, as you know, are basically just straight lines. So in this case, we have, uh, looks like three. Angle GHD is certainly one of them. So we'll say angle G H D. Or you can also say angle A H E. And even though they don't really look like angles, they are. And, and the, technically the vertex is, is point H, even though it doesn't really turn. These are angles whose measure is exactly 180. All right, so let's move on to a right angle. We have, uh, looks like four of them here. Most easy to see, of course, is this box. That box tells us that the angle is 90 degrees. So angle G, H, F. And if you see a sort of a four-way intersection, and even though this is an intersection uh, with way more than that, just four angles, but if you see a box right there, then you can automatically assume that if that's 90 degrees right there, then this one's 90, this one's 90, and this one's 90. Even though you'll never see four boxes drawn like that, if you see one, you can assume the other ones are also 90. Number five, a pair of complementary angles. All right, so complementary. We need to go back into our previous lesson here and, and remember what the term complementary means. And that, of course, means that it's uh, angles that add up to 90. So we're looking at, uh, let's see, angle CHD plus angle CHB. One arch plus two arches is 90 degrees. So over here, we'll say angle CHD and angle B, H, C. All right, you can also say, if you wanted to, angle B, H, A plus angle A, H, G. Those are certainly complements of one another. Down here, these two as well. They're complementary. And there are more there that involve uh, sort of some other trick uh, tricks kind of like vertical angles. We'll talk about that in the next lesson. Moving on, supplementary angles. These are angles that add up to 180. We have a lot of them. 
This one's asking for a pair of them, so let's just look for two. We'll go angle A, H, G, and the one that combines with it to make a straight line, angle A, H, D. So if we were to kind of uh, remove all the other stuff and just look at those two angles, those two angles make a straight line. All right, so that's one pair. There are many others, but I'll write that down. Angle A, H, G, and angle A, H, D. Other pairs, if, you want, if you're interested. Uh, let's see, we have a lot of different options here, supplementary angles. Let's look at this right here, angle CHF and angle CHB. Those are supplementary angles because they add up to this straight line. Let me see if I can get this here, this straight line right there. Be a little better. This straight line. All right, lots of different options there. Moving on, what is, uh, what number seven, what angle is complementary to angle AHB? Well, let's identify angle AHB. That is right there. Its complement is, of course, hopefully you're pretty good at this now. Its complement is angle AHG. Because those two add up, when combined, they add up to 90 degrees. There are different options there uh, that we'll sort of get to down the line. We're also going to say, just as a little preview, that this angle right here, since it's across from angle AHG, those are the same. We'll get there. Let me erase all those and put that back. That was AHG. Number eight, what angle is supplementary to angle GHE? Well, angle GHE, oh boy, that one's this one right here. The supplement of that one would be that angle right there, angle DHE, because they form a real nice straight line right here. So that answer is angle DHE. Cool. Number nine, what angle is supplementary to angle AHD? Angle AHD, identify it first. Its supplement is right here, angle A, H, G. As you can see, those, when combined with one another, form a straight line. And finally, number 10, what angle is supplementary to angle F, H, D? This one's kind of interesting. Angle F, H, D is, in fact, a 90-degree angle. So a supplement to that would be, of course, another 90 degree angle, angle BHD. All right, so those are uh, sort of 10 little exercises there to solidify your understanding of these angle relationships. We're going to be using these angle relationships all year long. Acute, obtuse, straight, right are the basic definitions and classifications of angles. And then our relationships start down here. There are many more. Complementary and supplementary are not just the only two. We'll talk more about vertical angles and congruent angles and things like that uh, later on. But uh, that's a good start.